here I am, right next to my plants and bookcase again, still here. And staying on the topic of relationships. Oh, this one. What do I expect out of a relationship? Or one of my expectations? And this is a big one. And I know you shouldn't have expectations, but I'm not going to compromise on this, and I have my reasons. And it's simply that the next woman I go out with, the next woman who becomes my girlfriend, she better know how to take care of herself. I spent a lot of time and effort being a support for Crystal. Um, basically, my requirements, she wanted to get married and there were, um, there were a few reasons why I did not propose to her. It wasn't because I didn't love her. Not at all. And she claimed to be ready, but from my point of view, she wasn't. Um, there were things that she hadn't proved to me that she could take care of herself, that she could hold a job. Um, she couldn't drive. I, um, she didn't have a license. I was actually helping her with that one. I was teaching her to drive as part of the support I was giving. <laughs> She's actually a pretty good driver. All she had to do was finish learning a three-point turn in Parallel Park, and she would have had her license easily. Um, she was, uh, as a consequence of not holding down the job, she was also on Section 8. Um, what else? Um, basically, what I wanted her to do was prove that she could basically hold down a job and balance a checkbook. There were times that I had to loan her money. I had to help get her groceries. I had to, oh, what was it? A couple times I had to help her out with her rent because she overspent, and these things drove me nuts. Uh, she had all these goals and aspirations, saying she wanted to do this, she wanted to do that, she wanted to learn a trade. I was all supportive of that, but I didn't see it happening. And if I didn't see it happening, I wasn't gonna propose. Now, why? Why would I expect her to be able to take care of herself? Why is the man would I just not take charge of that? And um, here's what was going through my head. The reason for that, I mean, would I do those things? If I, if I could, absolutely. And one of my goals for myself and my mission is to be stable enough to actually do that. But why would it matter? Why would I want her to be able to support herself if I could do it? It's, it's really simple. What if something happened to me? What if we had kids and something happened to me? She didn't know how to take care of herself. I, I couldn't fathom marrying a woman like that. I'm sorry. If, if we had kids and something happened to me, I, wouldn't want, I would want to know that I left them in good hands, that the woman that I left them with can pay bills, can pay rent, can keep a roof over her head, can keep food on the table without my support. This, this, this whole thing, it, it's uh, today's society, it's, it's no longer safe where the, the man brings home all the money. And, you know, this is about being a, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, damn, I hate it when I forget words. This is about being self-sufficient as an adult. As an adult, she should be able to take care of herself. She shouldn't have to rely on me. And God, the burden and the pressure that was on me because I was helping her out, I was supporting her. Some of that support was enabling because of the things she was doing behind my back, but I'll go into that in yet another video. But yeah, I want a woman to be able to support herself in case something happens to me that I don't have to worry that she can take care of herself. I've, I've been taking care of myself for the last nine years. And I'm going to get better at it because, well, I already realized my job isn't going to cut it. So I'm working on myself again so that I can, so that I can figure out how to make it work. So I have an excess of money. So I'll be able to retire one day. So I'll be able to buy a house. 
and um, yeah, expect her to be able to do the same thing. Now we decided to have kids, get married, have kids, and she decides what she wants to be a stay-at-home mom. That's fine, because then if anything happens to me, I know she can get a job and she can take care of herself and the kids. I'm not gonna leave my, I'm not gonna marry a woman and leave my kids in a position where they're gonna be screwed because my wife doesn't know how to take care of things. This is not a male-female thing. This is an adult thing that every person should know how to take care of themselves. We don't live in, ta in, in, in the Stone Ages anymore where the man is supposed to take care of anything. And even then, what happened when he did die if he was taking care of everything? So yeah, these are the, these are the thoughts that cross my, my mind. Basically, she told me that she wanted to learn a trade. She wanted to have a career. And I was staying with her, helpful, supportive of those things, and it wasn't happening. And I had agreed that, yeah, I would ask her to marry me if she could prove that she could do those things. She wasn't even holding a job. She had a job here and there and lose it, spend forever finding another one. And until she could prove that she could be stable, that's why I didn't do it. She made me these promises that she was going to figure all this out. She never did. And if she couldn't keep her word on that and realize how important it was to me, then, yeah, she thought she was ready to be married. But from my point of view, she wasn't. And that's, that's why I never proposed. It wasn't because I didn't love her. It was because I was worried that she wouldn't be able to take care of herself or kids if we had them. And that was important to me. So that's it, that's, what was the point of this video? What I expect out of a relationship and why?